All right, good afternoon, guys. <laughs> Thank you for being here for the pre-match press conference. Today, we have the captain, Craig Brathwaite, available to speak with you. As usual, we'll give preference to the persons in the room. So I'm not sure who wants to start. Um, hi, Craig. South Africa have named uh, two spinners in their 11, which is, which is pretty unusual here at the Wanderers. Um, do you have an 11 you can share with us? And are you also thinking of going spin heavy-ish? Well, we, we have an option with, with the spinner in Moti, who didn't obviously play the first game. Um, you know, we obviously want to see the pitch today. Unfortunately, obviously, it's covered right now. Um, but obviously, we'll be between minds whether, you know, bring in a spinner or, you know, keep the same attack we had. And then uh, South Africa's coach, uh, Shukri Conrad, he, he was pretty critical of them, saying, you know, you guys were really good at Centurion and especially of their batting. Do you feel like you, you've almost got them and, and you've got an attack that can maybe square a series? And I guess you guys have never drawn a series in South Africa, so that's quite cool. Yeah, I mean, th I d think that would be great. Uh, I think it was, it was very good for us as a bowling group to get 20 wickets. You know, we thought that was very important. Um, first session, you know, the first day, the first two sessions, we were a bit too expensive, obviously that cost us a bit, you know, so we're getting a big first in this total. And as a batting unit, you know, we could, we got to improve, you know, we got to obviously spend more time, but, um, you know, so far Africa will, will come hard, you know, no matter 11 they play, so, you know, we got to be up for it. Craig, I don't know if you've been able to have a look at this pitch yet? I saw it yesterday. And there's some, there's some strange bare patches in strange places. What, what do you think of it? Yeah, it yeah, it has some patches, especially, you know, the right hander, you know, facing facing the next end. Um but I guess from so far because eleven you could possibly, you know, could could see why. Um but you know, we would love to have a look at it today because obviously overnight we don't know what, what the groundsman would have done and you know, this morning and you know, we look forward to this last game. And even though you lost in Centurion, it was a you went disgraced. It was it was a decent game of cricket and, and the other team won. That must give you some kind of confidence going into a game like this. Yeah, I think it shows that we aren't far off. You know, obviously, so far because a tough team at home. You know, as as normal, and you know, it goes to show with a little more application, especially you know for the batters, myself included. Um, you know, we we could you know do well here here in these conditions. So you know, it was it was it was a good. It it, it gave us you know that that belief you know that we, that we could do it and we just got to keep believing and it doesn't matter which team we play in the world you know we always got to believe and you know I think we had a lot of positives in the first test and you know we got to just keep improving and um we happen to be walking behind your team bus as, as you guys arrived and uh somebody walked off carrying a rather big pink teddy bear thingy can you tell us what that's about <laughs> well that we just play a, a game you know for warm up you know a little tennis game so we always have a man in the match who's the worst player um, of 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 that, and unfortunately, Mr. Kimar Roach hasn't gotten as yet, which I think he's always the worst player. <laughs> does, does the does the is it a teddy bear? And does it have a name? Yeah, her name is Susie. Sorry, sorry. We asked South Africa as well. You know, with the lack of Test cricket and, and something we've been talking about through the series, what kind of statement can you two teams make in this final game to? kind of say something about where you are as test teams. Is that something you're thinking about or you know, how important is test cricket for you guys and, and how much do you feel you, you need to make a statement? Well, test cricket means a lot, you know, to, to us in West Indies. You know, you, you recognize, you know, West Indian fans, you know, really follow test cricket a lot and they want the test team to do well. You know, I think that's very important. And, you know, I think playing test cricket over the years is, you know, you learn from playing. I think the like these two back to back tours we had Zimbabwe and then coming here it was it was good because you know you get a rhythm and and you know some guys you know may not have done well but I think that the more you play you know you, you get familiar and, you know it's it's just better you know for for us you know as as cricketers so I think I mean it'd be great you know for us you know and South Africa and, and the other teams that may not get you know as much you know to get to get more games because I think it could help with growth. And I think the more consistent, you know, you play, you, you, you learn a lot from playing. And when it's spaced out so far, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's tough, you know, both for a bowler who may want to get in a rhythm and, and, and for a batsman as well. So, you know, it'll be great, but obviously that's, that's out of our control. And then 